Hello. Hello. My name is Pastor Tapani. I'm Hannah. And welcome to our Bible story time and sing along. Now, last time we learned all about how Jesus was tempted by the devil in the wilderness. He was all by himself. And then at the end, when he had driven the devil away, he was looked after by angels. Now, after Jesus came back from the wilderness, he was no longer alone, but he started going around meeting people. And what he started doing was preaching. What is preaching, Hannah? Preaching is where you teach the word of God to people. That's right. So Jesus started, started teaching the word of God to all kinds of people. He traveled around from village to village and town to town. And everywhere he went, he told them that the kingdom of God was near. And that they should repent and believe the good news. To believe the good news of God that he had sent a saviour into the world. And wherever Jesus went, people gathered to listen to him. They wanted to hear what he had to say. And the hundreds of people, sometimes thousands of people, came together to listen to Jesus. Now, it was great, really wonderful that God had sent Jesus to tell God's word to them. But there was just one problem. If Jesus was the only person who was doing the preaching, then only those people who could get to Jesus could hear it. So if you couldn't find Jesus, if you didn't know where he was, if you didn't know where he was, then you couldn't actually hear Jesus' preaching. And in those days there was no telephone or TV or internet. And so what Jesus did was call to him people who might go and preach his word to others. And so he was walking along a big lake one day, he saw a couple of fishermen. And he said to them, stop catching fish, follow me and I will send you to catch men for the kingdom of God. And he saw a man called Matthew sitting at his tax booth by the road doing his job and he said to Matthew, come and follow me. And all together he gathered to, to himself Twelve men. And to these twelve men he gave the job of listening to him, learning from him, and then going out and telling all people that they met all about him. And these twelve men are called apostles, because that, that word means that they were sent by Jesus. Hannah, why do you think there were twelve of them? Well, there were twelve apostles because that's like the 12 tribes of Israel in the Old Testament. And God sent Jesus to create for himself a new Israel, a new people to be with him in his kingdom. That's right. Now, shall we tell everybody the names of these 12? Now, here's your little challenge. Listen very carefully. And maybe you could get uh, one of the grown-ups at home, or even yourself if you find one, to look up in the Bible the names of the 12 apostles. See if you can memorise them. Hannah and I are going to cheat a little bit just to make sure that we get it absolutely right. But the 12 apostles were Peter, Andrew, James, John, Matthew, Thomas, Philip, Bartholomew, Thaddeus, James, Simon and Judas. Did you get that? All 12. One more time. Peter, Andrew, James, John, Matthew, Thomas, Philip, Bartholomew, Thaddeus, James, Simon, and Judas. Those were the twelve apostles, and they followed Jesus everywhere. They listened to his preaching, they listened very carefully, and learned from him, so that when the time came for them to go out, they would not talk about what they were thinking about, but they would preach to everybody the word of Jesus. And that word of Jesus is still being preached today. And that's why we have our Bible story and sing along. That's what we hear in church every Sunday, the word of Jesus being preached. And maybe you could think to yourself, can you think of anybody who's preached the word of Jesus to you? And maybe you could thank God for that person, for preaching the word of Jesus to you so that you too can know God and be his child and a member of his kingdom. And Jesus sent the 12 apostles, because he loves us. 
and that love of Jesus we learn about in the Bible and that's what our song is all about. Now do you remember we learned the second verse to this song? I think you probably know it by now so we're going to give it a go. So we're going to go straight from the beginning. Jesus loves me, this I know. And Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. We are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gates to open wide. He has washed away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So let's now thank Jesus for giving us his word. So we close our eyes and put our hands together. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that you came into the world to bring the kingdom of God to us, to preach the good news. And thank you that you sent the apostles to preach your word. And thank you for all the people who preach your word to us now. Help us always to hear you, to believe your word, and always to follow you to our heavenly home. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. So let's pray the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Hannah, for leading us in singing and helping us to read out the 12 names of the apostles. We hope that you will join us again as we continue to learn more about the life of Jesus. Bye. Bye.